What's up guys, Football Pia here. Hope all is going well. Now many of you may have noticed that I haven't been online in a while and I guess life just got the best of me. I've been really busy with school and other commitments. So I'm just glad to be back. If there's anything that I'm going to be looking to improve on besides basic video quality, it's definitely going to be my uploading consistency just because I know how frustrating it can be if someone you're subscribed to doesn't upload on a regular basis. On that note, welcome to my video. Please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest in the soccer world. Now that we have all the formalities aside, let's get into the actual portion of the video. Today I'm making a video regarding Adidas' latest innovation, the Adidas PrimeNet FS. More specifically, the sole plate. Now in general, there's nothing wrong with the functionality of the sole plate. It works great. Let me tell you that. Now what Adidas has done with these shoes, they've decked out the sole plate in this green chrome coloring. And when you first receive the shoes in the box, there's plenty of warnings telling you that this, the coloring will fade over time whilst playing in them. And now of course I understand that, and what I'm about to tell you in no way affects the functionality of the shoe, so just please be aware of that. Now I've worn these shoes a couple of times, perhaps not extensively, but often enough to make this video. Now basically what I'm trying to tell you, if you don't want the green chrome coloring on the bottom of the shoe to fade, don't wear them in the rain. Simple as that. If you couldn't care less about the coloring of the shoe, just click away, go to a different video, this is not for you. Now the first couple of times that I've worn the shoe, I've kept in mind that the chrome coloring, according to Adidas, could potentially fade. Now, mine didn't fade too, fade too much after the first couple of times of wear and I was quite happy about that because other teammates that had purchased the exact same shoe in the exact same colorway had experienced different results with the sole plate coloring chipping already after one or two times of wear. However, there was one game that we had and it was played during the rain and I decided to wear the Primate shoes. And after the game, what you can see on screen now had happened, which would be that the sole plate has chipped quite significantly. So all that I'm saying is if you're going to purchase these shoes and you want the chrome sole plate to look as nice as possible for as long as possible, make sure not to wear them in any wet conditions whatsoever because that will loosen up the coloring on the sole plate. However, if you really couldn't care about the coloring, wear them whenever you'd like. And of course, Adidas has already warned you so you can expect the coloring to fade, so it's even better when it doesn't fade at all. As well as this, in no way does it affect the performance, I really want to make that clear. That's basically it for my video today, just wanted to let you know that wearing these shoes in the rain might not be such a good idea for the longevity of the coloring. Now if you have any other questions regarding the shoe, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest in the soccer world, and for future videos, post it more consistently of course. Other than that, I have nothing to say. See you guys next time. Peace.